everybody. Welcome to my very first edition of MUA Donella D's Some Makeup Beauty Series. I really haven't gotten um, a handle on what name I want to give to this. So excuse me if it's, I sound a little bit like I don't know what I'm talking about, but in terms of the name, I mean. So I'm still trying to really work out a name for that. I, I really... Um, maybe I should do a poll as well. If you happen to have clicked on this video and you're kind of lost, then let me just bring you up to speed. Now, last week, I think I posted my very first summer makeup slash beauty tip on my Instagram and also on my Facebook um, handles. And I also did a poll in my Insta stories. You know, I, I really wanted you guys' feedback as to whether I should continue just posting photos and maybe adding the tip below it or if I should do like a mini video series. And of course, the majority of you guys voted that I should do a mini video series. So here I am in front of you guys blabbering away. So for this video, I am going to be focusing on bronzing. Now, bronzing is something that I do during the quote-unquote summer months. Um, and I also try to encourage um, anyone who is a makeup lover. Uh, generally, if you just overall just want to do something different um, in the summer in terms of your whole makeup look, then I would definitely say put down the hash, contour, sticks, palette, powders, whatever you whatever you have that you normally use during the uh, not so hot months, colder months. I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but the months that are not summer months, those. Yeah. So if you really want to switch up your makeup game, then I would definitely suggest um, using a bronzer during the summer months. And I'm going to demonstrate to you guys exactly how I bronze during the summer months. Now, this first step is something that you actually can skip, but everybody who knows me when it comes to makeup, I'm very extra. So I always just have to do something extra. Now, the first thing that I do before um, I actually apply my bronzer is apply um, this foundation stick from Black Opal. It is, in fact, a foundation stick. It is a full coverage foundation stick, as a matter of fact, and this one is the sh is in the shade um, Ebony Brown. It has, by the way, it's, it's, it's like all the way down here. So what I do, is I normally take a fluffy powder brush. This is a powder brush because what I want to do is to just add a bit of warmth to my face, but I really don't want it to look too, too caked on. So what I do is that I just dip the powder brush and swirl it around in the almost finished, um, foundation stick this is my contribution to recycling this is my contribution to recycling okay you, you can't you guys can't ever say that you've never seen Donella recycle anything I'm recycling my foundation stick okay okay so as you guys can see I have a very long face so normally whenever I contour our bronze I always focus on this area right here now I don't know if I have to do this for you guys to actually see but this is the area that I really focus on. And then, of course, I come around to my very huge forehead and then back around to my other jawline here on the left. So that I have just about enough of the product on the powder brush, what I would normally do is start from this area right here, which is almost close to my eye because this is this is a really rich brown shade of um, foundation and I really don't want to go in too, too heavy with it because all I really want to do is just um, add a bit of warmth to my face because I'm really trying to get into the whole summer vibe. So um, this is what I would normally do and then I would drag it across my forehead and then I would just add a bit more of it on the left side of my cheek and I'm trying as much as possible not to go too far down. I'm really trying as much as possible to just stay within this area right here. It's it's exactly like how you would contour. You know, you don't really go all the way down here whenever you're contouring. So that's basically my first step. Then, of course, we move on to applying the actual bronzer. Now, in terms of bronzers, I know there are some persons who would go to the high-end brands. You know, persons like, you know, Charlotte Tilbury, Bobby Brown, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Natasha Denona. The no what, how do you pronounce her name? I don't even know how to pronounce her name because her things are so expensive. They just make me forget her name completely. But anyway, if you're looking to not break the bank and you're looking for something more in the drugstore brand region, then I would definitely suggest the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer. Now, because of the shade of my skin, I normally get the shade um, Ebony Bronze, which is kind of similar to the Ebony Brown. So this is why I actually use both of them together because whenever I finish, whenever I complete my makeup, I think that they look so so good together now I use the same powder brush that I use in the foundation stick and I'm going to do the same technique I'm just going to drag it backwards now 
when I, when I apply the foundation stick, I did it in this motion, but I want the bronzer to be a bit more wide on my cheek area. So I always turn the brush this way. And then of course, I'm going to go around in circular motion right here by my hairline because we ain't trying to look like we're wearing a mask. So whenever you hit this area right here, I always go around in circular motions to try to get rid of that mask. Now, this baby right here is like really, really powerful. So you have to do her in very small portions at a time. I'm telling you, when this dries down, if you use too much, your face is going to look completely red. Completely, completely red. If you're looking for a palette that's also not too expensive, if you feel like you want to expand your... I don't know if you want just want to expand your makeup collection and you feel like oh I don't want to just buy the covergirl um, bronzer maybe I, I should buy a complete palette now one of my favorite palettes for persons that are like my shade are maybe a bit darker of course persons that are medium to fair skin tone can use it but I would definitely I would definitely not recommend because these colors in here are really really rich and even me, as a dark girl, I have to be really careful whenever I'm using it. And it's this palette right here from Beauty Bakery. It's their cocoa and, sorry, it's their coffee and cocoa palette. And it comes with these two bronzing shades right here. And this highlighter shade. And this is somewhat of like a, it's, it's kind of like a powdery shade that you could use to set your concealer with. But I normally use it to set my below my contour or my bronzer with it so this is something that i would suggest getting you know it, this costs like 28 us dollars which is much cheaper than an anastasia beverly hills contour palette that costs like 42 dollars so if you're looking to invest into a palette i would definitely suggest getting this one from beauty big and for those of you who just feel like the 28 dollars is still too much and you still want to stay in the drugstore brand region then i would definitely suggest this one here from covergirl from the queen collection it's the shade ebony bronze if i'm not mistaken this collection has about three or four bronzers in the collection if i'm not mistaken i'm not really certain so don't take uh, don't take what i'm saying right here for face value in terms of the, the color shade i'm not really sure it, it may be three it may be four all right so that is all i have for you guys for this edition of my summer makeup slash beauty tip videos i'll talk to you guys real soon on my next upload bye